Hello again, class. How is everyone doing today? Good. My name is Mr. Tanner, and I'm so excited to be here with all of you again. I hope you've all had a great week so far and that you are ready to learn some fun new things. Are you guys ready? All right, let's jump right into the lesson. In our last lesson, we learned four peer pressure refusal strategies. You can just say no, you can move away, you can ignore, or you can suggest a better idea. Oh, hey, Wag. How are you today? Well, I'm sad, mad, and embarrassed. Oh, no. Why are you sad, mad, and embarrassed, Wagner? I made a mistake. That's okay, Wagner. We all make mistakes. Making mistakes gives us a chance to learn. What was your mistake, Wagner? I was at my friend Butch's pool party this weekend and poured hot sauce instead of ketchup all over my french fries. I never do anything right. The worst part was everyone laughed at me. I'm so glad you're in class with us today, Wagner, because we are going to talk about making mistakes. Sit right here, Wagner, and listen as we learn what to do when we make a mistake. When you make a mistake, it is easy to put yourself down. Class, how did Wagner put himself down? What did he say to himself? Exactly. He said, I never do anything right. How do you think Wagner feels about himself if he believes he can never do anything right? Yeah, he might feel bad, sad, embarrassed. Instead of putting himself down, Wagner could say something kind to himself. He could say, it's okay to make mistakes. How do you think Wagner would feel if he told himself it's okay to make mistakes. Right. He would probably feel a lot better, wouldn't he? Saying kind things to ourselves when we make a mistake will help us feel more positive. All right, class. Now it is time for a workbook activity. Teachers, Please pause the video here and distribute the workbooks along with a writing utensil. Then hit play to continue the lesson. Okay everyone, open your workbooks to page 13. We will work together to unscramble the words to discover kind statements that we can say to ourselves when we make a mistake. The first one has been done for you. The words are make, we, all, and mistakes. The kind thought is we all make mistakes. Okay, now look at number two. The words are one, perfect, no, and is. Unscramble the words and write down the kind statement you can say to yourself. Okay, class, what sentence did you write? Very good. It should say, no one is perfect. And that's true. No one is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. Now look at the words in number three. They are help, me, mistakes, and learn. Unscramble the words to discover the kind statement you can say to yourself. Okay, what sentence did you write for number three? 
Great job. It should say, mistakes help me learn. We can always find something to learn from our mistakes, can't we? All right, number four. The words are, again, I, try, and will. Unscramble the words and write down the kind statement. Okay, what did you all get for number four? Awesome. It should say, I will try again. And you should always try again. Never give up. All right, class, let's move on. Now that we know the kind things to say to ourselves when we make a mistake, we are ready to learn healthy ways to manage the mistake. Keep your workbooks open because you will still need them in just a minute. You are going to build a team of superheroes to support you when you make a mistake. This will be your superhero strategy team. Raise your hand if you know what a strategy is. Good, yeah, you guys are so smart. A strategy is a plan. Each of the superheroes has a special strategy for managing mistakes. Everyone look at the bottom of page 13. Some of their strategies are healthy and some are unhealthy. As we meet each superhero, decide if his or her strategy is healthy or not. Circle the superheroes with a healthy strategy so you can add them to your team. Cross out the heroes with an unhealthy strategy. Okay, first, let's meet fabulous Mr. Fix-It. He works hard to fix his mistakes. He learns what he did wrong and he works to make it right. When he made a mistake on his math homework, he learned how to do it right and fixed his mistake. Class, is this a healthy or an unhealthy way to manage mistakes? Very good. It's a healthy way. Okay, circle fabulous Mr. Fix-It for your team. All right. Our next superhero is Maddie Meltdown. Maddie believes she is perfect. When Maddie makes a mistake, she gets really angry. She scrunches her face and clenches her fists. She starts to blame other people. Is it healthy to believe we are perfect and could never make a mistake? No, of course not, right? Is getting mad a healthy or an unhealthy way to handle mistakes? Yeah, that's right. It's unhealthy. So you can cross out Maddie Meltdown. Okay, now let's meet Panic Pants. As you might have guessed, he panics whenever he makes a mistake. His heart races, his face turns red, and he runs around shouting what a failure he is. Raise your hand if you think Panic Pants would be a good addition to your team. Good, I shouldn't see any hands up. Panicking is not a healthy response to managing a mistake. Cross him out. Okay, class, let's meet Tada Dazzler. When Tada makes a silly mistake, she puts a smile on her face, extends her arms out to the side, 
takes a bow and says, ta-da. Just the other day, Tada's glitter slipper caught the edge of the carpet and she tripped and tumbled. The whole class turned to look at her. She put a huge smile on her face, took a bow, and said, Ta-da! She didn't run and hide or cover her face. Instead, she had fun with her mistake and took a bow. The class even clapped for her. Nod your head yes if you think this is a healthy way to handle a mistake. Good. Circle ta-da and add her to your team. All right, our next superhero is Super Sorry. Sometimes our mistakes affect other people. If we make a mistake that hurts someone's feelings, we should always apologize. One time, Super Sorry mispronounced the new student's name. She knew she had made a mistake and immediately apologized, saying, I'm so sorry I mispronounced your name. Class, is Super Sorry's strategy healthy or unhealthy? That's right, it's healthy. So circle Super Sorry and add her to your team. Okay, our next hero is Huff and Puff. Once Huff and Puff left his homework at home. Instead of figuring out how to fix his mistake, he got angry with himself, his teacher, and his classmates. Is getting angry a good way to manage mistakes? No, right? So let's cross out Huff and Puff. Okay, sometimes we need the help of a trusted adult to find the best way to manage a mistake. Captain Chit Chat talks about her mistakes with a trusted adult. If she doesn't know how to fix a mistake, she asks an adult for help. Is asking an adult a good strategy? Yeah, it is. So you can all circle Captain Chit Chat. Okay, wasn't building our superhero team a fun way to learn how to manage mistakes? We can remember those heroes when we make mistakes. So class, how could Wagner handle his mistake of putting hot sauce on his french fries in a positive way? Yeah, very good. Those are some great ideas. I could have said, ta-da, I'm making buffalo french fries. <laughs> well, that's a great idea, Wagner. Buffalo fries sounds delicious. Class, did you know that popsicles chocolate chip cookies, cheese puffs, and other yummy foods were all made by mistake? Sometimes mistakes can be magnificent. Don't put yourself down and never give up. Instead, use one of the positive ways we learned today to handle mistakes. Well, good job everyone. That's all for today. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I already can't wait until I see you all next time. Say goodbye to the class, Wagner. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, class.